I think so. The message has not been sent to, and the voice is not audible to Ankit. Ankit, everything is fine. Audible. Yes, am I audible? Yes, I can hear you properly. I guess there was some issue with the mic. Okay, right now I can, uh, uh, like you are audible right now, so you can speak up. That I asked about the cell. So, what is the cell according to you? Basically, the basic structure. Okay. Basic structure of human skin. Okay. So basically, cells are those things from which every living organism are made up of. Okay, whether it is a single cell organism or whether it is a multicellular organism, everything which is present in the living form is made up of cell. Okay, so when we say cell, cell means a compartment, a area which is actually enclosed with the walls. Okay, so that is a cell. A room with gates or wall, you can say it cell also. A phone is there or a battery is there, which is also an enclosed surface, you can say it cell. So cell is basically an enclosed surface which is performing a certain functions. So in case of living organism, a cell is the basic structure and functional unit of a living organism. Okay, so right now I'm going to share my board with you and we'll learn something new about the chapter. So in this chapter, we are going to study about the cell and the discovery of the cell who discovered what in which year they discovered, okay? So we'll start it. <clears throat> so the cell was first discovered by cell discovery. So first of all, study of cell is known as cytology. Study of cell is known as cytology. Okay. So when, whenever we are doing the study of function and structure of a cell, so in this study, everything related to function as well as structure We call it as cytology, okay? So the cell discovery, the first point of cell discovery is that first cell was discovered by scientist Robert Hook. Scientist Robert Hooke in year 1665. In year 1665, he discovered discovered first cell. This discovery was done by the Robert Hooke from the cell. He took the cell of bark or the cork cell or the stem cell of plant and this cell actually was a dead cell this cell was a dead cell which he discovered next important thing in the discovery is that scientist anton von leeuwenhoek also discovered cell also discovered cell but he studied with cell rbc which is known as red blood cell red blood cell and wbc as well as sperm cells so basically he discovered living cell so first living cell was discovered by Anton von Leeuwenhoek scientist. The third and 
last which is most important point of cell discovery is that discovery of nucleus discovery of nucleus this discovery was done by the scientist robert brown robert brown and he identified nucleus a nucleus is a structure which contains nucleic acid this nucleic acid consists of what dna or rna which we commonly call as a genetic material okay so this discovery of nucleus was done by the scientist robert brown so three scientists we have learned till now in discovery of cell that is what first was robert hook next scientist was anton von leeuwenhoek and third scientist was the uh, discovery of nucleus by robert brown okay so these are the different kind of discovery which is uh, done by the different scientists so here you can see robert hook discovered in year 1665 a, a piece of cork under the microscope and he called this compartment and cell in latin uh, it is known as small hook so in latin word if we say then this uh, scientist the scientist number 1 basically robert ho he called these compartments as cell so now you will say what are compartments ma'am then compartments so when he observed the cell under a microscope it is look it was looking like this different kind of compartments was drawn and they are attached to each other in different manner so they are joined like this so every compartment is known as a cell and in latin cell means compartment only cell means compartment so everything which is enclosed from four walls and inside it has space then it is known as compartment or cell okay do you have any doubt till here about the discovery uh, which is was done by three scientists ankit Uh, you can type it ankit because you are not audible to me right now if you have any doubt if you want me to repeat the things i'll repeat it for you uh, but you have to type it because you are not audible to me bachcha okay then the next point is about the cell theory so next point is about the cell theory so after what when they discovered the cell so together scientists thought that these are the some characteristic of the cell so we should formulate a cell theory that these are at least these two or three things are the basic things of a cell only these two or things we uh, things will uh, make uh, make us understand that this is a cell so they formulated a theory so in theory what happens so two or three scientists will come together they'll have certain ideas they'll share those ideas and they will formulate a theory so th in this manner uh, a cell theory was also formulated so this cell theory what does it say we'll see it so uh, just look at here so we'll understand about cell theory so basically cell theory was given by two scientists one was kelden and the other scientist was schwann these two scientists in year 1838 and 1839 together formulated the cell theory and what did that this uh, does that they said they said under the cell theory the first and most important thing that every living 
organist on earth is made up of cell what does it mean that if for example just understand with the help of example if i say a bacteria is there and if i say a mammal is there so from bacteria to mammal bacteria is a single cell organism and mammal is multicellular organism so from bacteria to mammals till mammals everything is made up of cell so from single cell to multicellular everything will be cell all the living organisms are made up of cell second and foremost important thing in this was cell is the structural and functional unit of living organisms so what does it mean that cell is the basic structural and functional unit of living organisms it means that whenever we see cell tissue a organ organ will form organ system and the finally organ is so when i see a organ is the smallest thing of i found is a cell the smallest thing which i found is a cell when i see the organ system the smallest thing is cell okay and when i see a organ then also a smallest thing is a cell and when i see a tissue then the smallest structure and functional unit will be cell so everything is connected to only cell everything is connected to only cell means if we are dissecting or we are seeing the organism smallest unit then we'll go to the cell if we see the smallest unit of the organ system then again we'll go to cell if we see the smallest unit of organ then we again move to cell if see a, a smallest unit of tissue then also we'll move to cell so what is happening here just listen that these two both points help them to understand the basic structure and function of a cell and they can easily classify that this is a cell and this is not okay so these two characteristics are very important regarding the cell growth now the scientists asked that if cell is there and forming other cell then how the cell is coming then how these cells are coming how the cells are coming or forming so now this theory was being what in doubt because these two scientists was not able to answer the question of the of uh, like they were not able to answer this question and they got stuck in between so what they did uh, one scientist came the name of the other scientist was rodolf virchow rodolf virchow what he did he given the third point of the cell theory and said every cell arises from pre existing cells so in latin it is known as hominis cellula e cellula this slang and this line means every cell arises from pre existing cell so what they want to say 
Suppose this was the cell which is present in the environment. It divides and forms the new cells. Then again it will divide and form the new cells. Okay. Then again they will divide and form the new cells. They will divide and form the new cells. So in this manner, a single cell form a multicellular person or organism. Okay. So this was the third point which was given by the scientist Rudolf Virchow that every cell arises from the pre-existing cells. Okay. So these are the main points of the theory, which are what? First, every living organism on the earth is made up of cell. Cell is the structure and functional uh, unit of living organism. And the last point given by the Rudolf Virchow every cell arises from the pre-existing cell that means ominous cellular e cellular okay any doubt till here Angit if so I'll repeat it for you okay now we'll move further in this chapter and we are going to start the topic, which is, we have done this. Now we are going to start with the different shapes and size of the cell. So we'll start with this. Different shapes and size. Of so before starting it, can you please tell me the shapes of the cell? Different shape of the cell. Like you have seen, uh, sometime you have remembered about this in the textbook that these, these were the shapes which is present in the environment for the cell. So you can type it in the chat box if you want to, if you know the answer, otherwise I'll tell you. Circular is there. Okay, very nice, right? You are right. Circular shape is there. Circular is there. Elongated are there. Like this will be in this shape. This will be somewhat elongated. Rod like. Not rod like structures. Cuboid. Cube like cells. Okay. Or it can be spiral also. can be spiral like this. It can be of any shape like oval, which will be somewhat egg-like structure. Okay. So these are the different structure which is available in the shape. Not only these, these are some few structure which I'm telling. Many more structures are also available. Star shape, different, different kind of shapes are available. When we are studying about the size, we have we should know the three important point, which is the longest, largest, and smallest cell. Yes. Correct, correct, long thread like structure. So in the longest cell, do you know which is the longest cell on the earth? Which is the longest cell? Okay, no idea. It's a nerve cell. Nerve cell in human body. Human body. The length is around one meter. Or you will say 950 to 900 centimeter in length. 
So nerve cells are the longest cells present in the body of humans. Okay. When we are saying largest, I think so you have heard it many times, ostrich egg is the largest cell present on the earth. It's, it is about 75 millimeter in length. Okay. And smallest cell on the earth is mycoplasma. Mycoplasma, they are smaller than bacteria. They are smaller than bacteria. They are very small than bacteria and the length is 0.3 micrometers. 0.3 micrometers. So these are the different things which you must know that there are different shapes as well as sizes available for the cell. Okay. So we'll move further in this. So we'll move further and we'll start the cell chapter. So this is what this was the basic kind of introduction, as this is your first class, as far as I know. So the cell is basically what we have studied. It is a structural and functional unit. Of living organs. So when we are saying a structural and functional unit of living organs, then you must know that we have to study about cells. So cell will have a three basic structures. What are those basic structures? First is cell membrane. Next is what cytoplasm. And last is nucleus. Yeah, very nice. So cytoplasm, cell membrane, cell wall, if present, if absent, it is not compulsory because animal cells do not have cell wall except bacteria. So cell membrane, cytoplasm and nucleus are the four most important things which should be present in case of cell. Okay, so on this basis only, on these three bases, we classified cell into two. And two, those classification is a prokaryotic cell and a eukaryotic cell. Have you ever heard about this prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell, Okay. Yeah, so what is a prokaryotic cell? Without cell membrane. Okay. And your eukaryotic cell? Okay, prokaryotic cell without cell membrane, no defined nucleus. Okay, very nice. You are going in right direction actually. So what is a eukaryotic cell? If we say that this one is a eukaryotic, so how you will identify it? With a very nice, very nice, Ankit. Okay. Uh, yeah. That is very nice that you know about this thing. So whenever we say, we are saying what about prokaryotic cell and a eukaryotic cell. A prokaryotic means, a prokaryotic cell means the primitive cell. A primitive carrion. Carrion means a nucleus. Okay, so whenever saying eukaryotic cell, you means always true. Carrion means nucleus. So whenever true nucleus is present, then it's a eukaryotic cell. And when there is a primitive type of carrion or nucleus is present, then it's a prokaryotic cell. Okay, okay. So I think so you know all, all these things. So we'll move further. Okay. So in case of a prokaryotic cell, there will be a cell wall or cell membrane present. Then, the important thing in this that the genetic material is directly present in the cytoplasm. 
so it don't have a well defined nucleus so this type of genetic material which is present in cytoplasm is known as nucleoid it is known as nucleoid there is in case of eukaryotic cell there is a defined nucleus a nuclear envelope is present and in this nucleus there is a separate compartment over there okay separate compartment is there for dna or rna can you please tell me the full form of dna or rna okay or do you know about the full form if you do please tell me if you don't i'll tell you okay let's see what how it is saying the oxyribonucleic acid very nice i'll get very nice ribonucleic acid so these are basically genetic material which is present in different organisms if we say bacteria or viruses so mostly they will have rna but in case of eukaryotic cell mostly mostly eukaryotic cell will have dna that is deoxyribonucleic acid okay so on this basis also we have classified the cells into prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell so what are the basic differences are there in prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell a eukaryotic cell if a plant cell is there then it will have cell wall otherwise animal cell won't have cell wall no cell wall in case of prokaryotic cell cell wall cell membrane both can be present in case of prokaryotic cell the composition of cell wall in case of eukaryotic and prokaryotic will be very very different in case of eukaryotic cell wall is mainly made up of cellulose in case of plants sorry in case of plants in case of prokaryotic cell wall is made up of nag units which means an acetyl glucose amine and also peptido glycan which means more of protein and some part of carbohydrates this energy is a sugar molecule so we can say it is also a carbohydrate cellulose is also a carbohydrate do you know cellulose is a polymer of cellulose is a polymer of what okay it is a polymer of glucose it is a polymer of glucose it's yeah it's a complex carbohydrate it's a polymer of glucose okay with beta 14 linkage so all these things make two different type of cells we'll study about what the different types of cells prokaryotic cell what is their basic difference as compared to eukaryotic cell why eukaryotic cell is advanced than the prokaryotic cell why there is a compartmentalization what is the function of each and every organelle mitochondria is there lysosome is there endoplasmic reticulum is there what functions they are performing and why are they required at the cell so everything will study in the next class can you please tell me till here you have any doubts regarding the chapter i think so this all things are the basic thing which uh, you know as far as i know oh good and very nice so uh, let me share you something so there are two basic type of cells we have done okay so there are some four questions uh, like you can do it uh, by yourself we have discussed it already in text exercise question number 4.1 you have to perform for the next class okay there are some four questions very small questions you will do it by yourself and tomorrow we are going to discuss it in the class okay ankit is it fine for you okay 
so i'm just taking off the class right now so i hope you enjoyed the class and we'll see you forward also okay uh, that you can ask to the authorities and the sir uh, about